In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Thrawn Ascendancy Greater Good. It is the second book in the Thrawn Ascendancy trilogy by Timothy Zahn. Let's just get into the review. Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> So I have to be honest, I, I really want to get into making Star Wars book reviews. I am currently halfway through the Into the Dark book from the New High Republic. I'm halfway through the final book in the Alphabet Squadron series, Victory's Price. And I've just finished the Thrawn book, this new one, Greater Good. So that's one of the reasons I haven't been able to put out as many reviews as I've wanted to. But books like this really intrigue me. And I think after reading this recent Thrawn book, I do have to say Timothy Zahn is probably one of, if not the best, Star Wars authors working today. Because he consistently does stuff that I'm more than satisfied with. The recent Thrawn trilogy that he had that takes place with Thrawn in the Empire, the second book kind of disappointed me, but the first one I really enjoyed. The third one I was a little indifferent with and I wasn't overly a big fan of it either. But this new trilogy kind of adds to it. This trilogy, Thrawn Ascendancy, takes place between episodes two and three, and it also ties in with some events because if you look at the second book in the original Thrawn trilogy that came out a few years ago, that book covers Thrawn working with Vader, but also Thrawn working with Anakin in between episodes two and three. And that also kind of ties in a little bit with this book here, Greater Good. So what do I think about this book? And this is mostly a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to give away anything that is integral to the plot other than that we know a big point in this is fleet or family. That's literally what they have on the back. It says between fleet and family, where does your loyalty lie? And the fleet is the ascendancy. And that's one thing this book does really well is the first book kind of sets up the ascendancy. What the Chiss world is like, what it's like in the rankings, and we also get a lot of details on the families. A big thing on the Chiss world is a the family. There is the nine ruling families, there's the 40 great families, and then everyone else is kind of irrelevant, and there used to be one ruling family, three, ten, it just changes all the time, but the nine ruling families are very important, and that's where the politics of this comes into play, and it's interesting how they use this, because this book, despite being a Thrawn book, I feel like doesn't focus on Thrawn too much, and I really like that. If you read the first book, uh, the, the first one is Chaos Rising, you get introduced to a lot of characters like Thrawn, Arlani, uh, General Bakif, you have uh, Samakro, uh, Wutro, all these characters come into play later. Thalius and Chiri are two people who used to be Force-sensitive. Well, Chiri still is, she's a young girl, and she's what they call a Pathfinder. A lot of these characters carry over, and I like that because I actually do find them a lot more interesting this time around, because like I was saying, they don't focus on Thrawn too much. There's a lot of chapters where you won't even hear about Thrawn for a few moments, and I like that. There's many chapters that are just about different characters doing different stuff in the Chiss Ascendancy, and them deciding on how important the family is compared to the Ascendancy, and you can kind of see the parallels between them and Thrawn. Thrawn doesn't think about the families. He thinks about the Ascendancy, and he thinks about taking out these foes, and Nick Hardoon is who they're pretty much going against, and they're trying to it's it's weird in the sense of the plot of this book is trying to just find enemies of the Chiss Ascendancy, but at the same time, there is this plot, and it's almost a conspiracy pretty much, where these people are setting up the fall of the Chiss Ascendancy by infiltrating the families, by dealing with the culture of them. And it's really cool because last book they did memories and it was memories, these are these interlude chapters that focused on Thrawn and Arlani and Thrawn rising up through the ranks or whatever. Now the memories are about this plot that's being set in motion by people who want to take down the Chiss Ascendancy. And you see that play out not only in real time in the book, but also through the memories on how they set up the plot. And it is very good. The pacing in this book Book is not fast. There's not so much action that you're flipping the page. You got to find out what's next, but it is a page turner in the sense of, I want to see how this plot plays out. I want to see who these enemies are in this unknown region trying to take out Thrawn. I mean, we talked about in the third book of the last Thrawn trilogy that Timothy Zahn did, there was one, I think it was called Treason, and in that one, they deal with the Grisk, and they were kind of hinted at in the first book, and they don't deal a lot with this book, but that stuff kind of intrigues me on, like, what is a great threat to the Chiss Ascendancy, and now we're finally seeing that playing out, and it leads into the third book. The third book is coming out later this year, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to be there day one, because 
This book did a good job on showing Thrawn, but not in the Sherlock Holmes version that we've seen so many times. That is one complaint I've had about every single Thrawn book that Timothy Zahn has made since we started the new canon, is that Thrawn is like Sherlock Holmes in the sense of he can solve everything and do everything and almost not break a sweat. And sometimes Sherlock actually gets, you know, duped a little bit, Thrawn not so much. In this book, you don't have that. He's still a great senior captain, and he still makes a lot of good choices, not really any mistakes, but we kind of focus on different characters like Aralani, who does a lot of great in this book. She's actually a lot smarter in this book than I thought she was in the first one, and th there was a question that one of the Chiss senior captains had where they basically asked, did Thrawn rub off on Aralani and make her smarter, or did Aralani rub off on Thrawn and make him smarter? I like that parallel. I like that question, and I like how people in the Senate are viewing Thrawn. There are even two high-ranking officials who are trying to usurp Thrawn in some way. And as a reader, you're going, okay, well, is this part of the con to take down the Ascendancy? Or are these guys looking for the, the betterment of the Ascendancy and think Thrawn is a threat? That comes into play a lot. It really ties into kind of real world stuff for us of like people have a loyalty in their family, but some would even say to their political party. And the question would be, do you value your political party more than you value, you know, the greatness of your country? And so it's really unique seeing that play out in here, but not in a boring way. This book is not boring. I've seen some people say this book was a little confusing. I, I, I'm an idiot, all right? If I'm an idiot and I can understand this book completely, you can too. I think something like Victory's Price, the Alphabet Squadron books, I get lost more reading those books than I did with these new Thrawn books. I think this is the best canon Thrawn book we have seen yet, and it makes me excited to see what they do next because, like I said, I've been a little disappointed with Timothy Zahn's Thrawn books recently, mostly because Thrawn has had no flaws, and sometimes it doesn't really set up anything of interest. This one, it was set up really good in the first book, and it paid off. It was a direct continuation, but it's not some big, grand-scale battle of the Chiss Ascendancy has to take out the entire Unknown Regions. It's not like that, and I really appreciate that about this book. It is structured solely around the Chiss Ascendancy and how they work, and it shows more about the Unknown Regions than I thought I was going to learn about, but also more about the Chiss culture. So, a lot of great moments in this. There's a really dark moment that surprised me. It was slowly kind of building up. Someone had a suspicion of this group of people, and as that suspicion grew and grew, will there be a confrontation? What is this person going to do when they find out the actual truth of the situation? And when that happens, and how it happens, it works perfectly with the structure of the Chiss, and it also works perfectly for this character because we know the, basically the culture of the Chiss as well. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you've read the book and you've gotten to that point, you'll know what I'm talking about exactly when it happens. So a lot of very great moments, a lot of great mystery in this book, and a lot of great setup. So I highly recommend you read this book. If you are a Thrawn fan, like I said, this is the best Thrawn book in the recent Thrawn series that we've had. We've had a trilogy of books that came out when Thrawn was in the Empire and is rising through the Empire and basically uh, before he was sent off to the Unknown Regions with Ezra at the end of Star Wars Rebels. Now we have a book that shows Thrawn before he goes to the Empire, and I really like that. So check out this book if you haven't. Timothy Zahn did a great job. Best Thrawn book of the new canon. Even though Thrawn's not, he's the main character, of course, but I don't feel like he is, is involved as we've seen in the last books, and I really like that. I like exploring the people around Thrawn. So, great book. I cannot wait for the third one that comes out later this year. This is a buy. If you want to buy this book, I have the link in the description below, so check it out if you haven't. It has released today, and when it comes to scoring, I would give this book a 9 out of 10. And I, I don't give it a 10 out of 10 because I don't think it's perfect, but I give it a 9 out of 10 because I don't really have any complaints about this book. I think the ending was very good. I think the way they handled their characters was also great. There, there's only one storyline that I wish they would have continued with a little bit more, but they probably will continue with in the third book. And this book did its job of making me more excited for the third book than I already was. So check out Thrawn Ascendancy, Greater Good by Timothy Zahn. If you haven't already, buy it. Link is in the description below. This is a 9 out of 10 book. And as I've already said many times, the best Thrawn book in the new canon. So if you've read this book, please leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're looking forward to this book, 
make sure you get it by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I'm Star Wars Only. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, please leave a like or a comment because it does help out the channel. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest news in Star Wars, you have to become an Only fan. And I know that sounds like a play on words, but it's not. To be a fan of Star Wars Only, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and you will stay up to date on the latest news in Star Wars. I am Star Wars Only. I will see you all next time and may the Force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.